Again, this is another sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. Revelation chapter 16, verse 3. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man, and every living creature in the sea died. California oil spill. Mapping a disaster drifting off California's coast ever since a pipeline failure caused at least 144,000 gallons of oil to spill into the Pacific Ocean, threatening a fragile coastal ecosystem and forcing some of Southern California's most popular beaches to close. Officials at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have been scrutinizing satellite imagery to track the oil spread. A series of images captures the extent of the spill, showing how tides have carried the slick closer to the coast. Officials have said the spill is the largest off California since 2015. The latest spill, thought to be from a decades-old pipeline that connected three platforms to a pumping station in Long Beach, has brought scrutiny to California's aging offshore oil and gas infrastructure. Some of the oldest platforms still in place were installed in the late 1960s. The episode has also raised questions about the speed of response. Local residents had started to complain about the smell of oil before the state authorities raised the alarm. California has not allowed drilling off its coast for decades, and the federal government long ago halted offshore lease sales off the Pacific coast. But the platforms near the recent leak, installed in the early 1980s by a consortium led by Royal Dutch Shell, are still operated by the troubled energy company Amplify, which is based in Houston. When you're talking about platforms that have been in place for 30 or 40 years, there's going to be wear and tear, said John B. Smith, an independent consultant who previously managed offshore oil and gas development along the Pacific Coast at the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management. Over time, the risk of spills goes up. Amplify's chief executive said that the company believed it had found the location of the pipeline rupture. He also pointed to another possible cause of the leak. A ship's anchor might have hit the pipe. Satellite images from the day before the leak's first sightings show numerous ships in the vicinity of the Amplify pipeline. Global supply chain problems triggered by a jump in consumer spending as pandemic restrictions start to ease, have meant a record number of cargo ships are waiting off the California coast. Even as the cause of the leak remains unclear, the damage could have significant consequences for the future of the offshore oil and gas industry off California, once a major oil producing state. The spill has prompted fresh calls for a permanent end to offshore oil production and for the decommissioning of the 200 miles of pipelines that serve 23 offshore platforms in federal waters off the Pacific coast, all of them many decades old. Eleven of those platforms no longer produce oil or gas, while five of those inactive platforms are in the early stages of decommissioning. The fate of the six other inactive platforms remains unclear as former owners squabble over who is responsible for the millions of dollars it will take to decommission them. California, with just a fraction of the offshore oil and gas infrastructure as the Gulf of Mexico, could be a harbinger of things to come. In the Gulf, leaks frequently spring from a tangle of more than 8,600 miles of pipelines, 
many of them abandoned, and more than 1,800 platforms. NOAA spotted dozens of spills after Hurricane Ida. Revelation chapter 16 verse 3 Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man, and every living creature in the sea died. The worst oil spill in U.S. history was much worse than had been thought. A new study suggests, as the Deepwater Horizon spill of 2010 unleashed toxic and invisible oil into the Gulf of Mexico. According to our findings, the toxic extent of the spill may have been as much as 30% larger than satellite data previously estimated, said a study co-author of the University of Miami in a statement. The findings revealed that a large part of the spill was invisible to satellites and yet toxic to marine wildlife. On April 20, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded, killing 11 people and releasing 210 million gallons of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico for a total of 87 days. Oil slicks from the blowout covered an area estimated at 57,000 square miles. While the Deepwater Horizon oil spill has been extensively studied, several fundamental questions remained unanswered. What was the full extent of the oil spill? Does the satellite footprint account for the entire oil spill extent? And is there a part of the spill that extends beyond the satellite footprint but is still toxic to marine animals? The new findings showed a much wider extent of the spill beyond what could be seen by satellites as it actually reached the Texas shore, the Florida Keys, and even along the east coast of Florida into the Gulf Stream. It was also toxic enough to kill about half of the marine life in its path. The new findings will be important for environmental health during future oil spills, according to the study. Revelation chapter 16 verse 3 Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man, and every living creature in the sea died. This too is another sign of the end of times as we know them. Transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events. Because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations? And that should be a very important question to ask. And this is the warning. And all these are more signs of the times.